community forums, educational forums on topics like water, affordable housing, um, economic development, and the very controversial topic of Masonite and what will happen to that property. And through that process, developed my own knowledge, but also saw how important it was to help more people in our community become educated about issues, political issues that we're faced with. Because the more that people get educated, the more they show up. I mean, this is really exciting tonight to have this many people here. I love it. <laughs> this is public engagement. And I think that's a very important part of something that I can help bring to the city council position. Um, also, my work as a planning commissioner in the last two years, I've come to understand planning issues more and the processes of public meetings. So what are my particular, what are your particular interests? I'd say my particular interests are regional planning, specifically looking at how we grow without compromising our valley. And some people say without wrecking the place, which I sort of think is a, in a nutshell a good way to say it. Um, but I think that includes things like what is being worked on with the revenue tax sharing agreement that is in conversation with the county. And um, I think that those kinds of discussions will promote better land use planning, which ultimately will help us with revenue taxes, revenues and um, just um, making wiser decisions. Additionally, I'm interested in the strong regional response to water availability and uh, the health of our watersheds. And I'm interested in innovating in the area of economic development, and that's like the whole spectrum. From the Citizen U workshop on economic development, I really saw how it encompasses things like workforce preparedness, um, attracting new funding technology, perhaps, new technologies funding, um, creating a climate for large and small businesses. We need sales tax, we need starter jobs, and we need the career paths to have a healthy community. Marianne, I think. My five minutes are up. Five minutes is up. Are there any questions, follow-up questions for? I have for one last question I was going to ask myself. For Marianne Landis. You'll want to hear it. <laughs> I would like to hear it. I would like to hear it. Thank you. See, we, we What is them. your shoe size? <laughs> <laughs> now, the reason I asked myself that question is that I realize there are very big shoes to be filled. I was at a meeting with John McCowan <laughs> recently, and his <laughs> shoes are quite large. <laughs> And he's done amazing things for our city. And I will say that while I wear a woman's size eight, I'm here ready to pitch in, use all the skills I've got, and represent our community effectively and give it my all. Thank you. I hope you pick me. <laughs> Further follow-up? If not, we're going to move on to Erica Pierce. Thank you for this opportunity. Well, what this is this five minutes? Um, well, not. It's okay. probably three minutes. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> our city manager is keeping track oh, roughly of okay. the five-minute limit. Well, I wrote a few things down so I could keep on track a little bit better. Um, the first thing is is that I wanted to explain why I wanted to be a part of the city council. Um, I want to make I I, I want to make a difference in our community. I would love to see positive changes. I feel that the only way to make positive changes is to get involved. I believe that I have great ideas on what needs to be done to make the city of Ukiah a more inviting town. We all need to keep moving forward and that takes the right people to implement some creative ideas. I am currently involved with, with a number of community projects such as the Ukiah Skate Park, Anton Stadium Rebuild, as well as the city of Ukiah's public pool renovations. I am always looking for more for more because the only way to get things done is to get involved. I spend a lot of time working with project managers for the city of Ukiah. I have made many phone calls to offer help and knowledge. I researched several options for different projects. I know that volunteers not only have the most passion, but that is how communities grow by working together. I feel that the quality of life <coughs> is more important than ever in these financial difficult times. If we, if we don't offer community members a way to enjoy life, we will start to see the numbers of domestic violence and substance abuse rise. With the budget already at capacity for public safety, this is something that shouldn't <coughs> be overlooked. Our Parks and Rec 
is in dire disrepair and we need to take a hard look at how we can fix them. We need to be known for the city with the beautiful parks and family fun as well as the great place to vacation, young or old. Each day that we are in someone else's newspaper for something negative only reminds us that we need to work harder to get back on track. And why I say that is because every time I'm out of town, I'm always finding things that are happening negatively in newspapers and it's kind of sad. Um, what makes me qualified to be on the city council, I love this community and I have the skills and the understanding on how to get the job done. While building my business, I have learned to be creative with budget. Being a homeowner and a business owner, I am concerned about a few things, such as the sewer increase. Uh, since we weren't able to build the 2,000 homes to compensate for the increase, this means that the added fees will be applied to everyone else. This is disturbing to me, and I would like to find a way to fix this. I'm not sure that all the people of the community will be able to afford this increase. Um, my biggest thing is that I would like to see the city get more involved in some of these projects. Being that I'm in some of the projects and I'm also, you know, out on the ground floor listening to people and they're not understanding that the city is involved and we need to get that more out there that they are having a great involvement. Um, even talk to Jane about that, that there is a definite presence there, but we, you know, the people aren't hearing it. Um, and that the Ukiah, you know, more members need to get involved in some of these projects. I think that's really, really important because that's the way to get things done. There's a lot of community effort that needs to participate and that's how you know these projects are gonna get completed. Our parks and recs are a big thing. I've taken a look at the budgets, um, trying to understand them. A lot of it's a little vague, but I try to keep up on budgets with what's going on and seeing you know how we can kind of coordinate a few different ideas with rectifying those problems. And I don't really have a whole lot of questions, but if anybody has any for me. Are there any questions to follow up with okay. Ms. Pierce? All right, thank you. Thank you. The next applicant, uh, number five, Brian Cornegay. First off, I'd like to um, thank you all for the uh, opportunity and the citizens of Ukiah for allowing me to be a part of this process. Um, I'm not a politician, and I tell you what, I respect and admire and appreciate everything that you guys have done. I'm no different than um, these ladies and gentlemen out here. Um, first, let me introduce myself. My name is Brian Cornegay. I've um, been in Ukiah since uh, June of 1980. I'm, um, I've been in the uh, fire service for 40 years, 34 years of that with uh, CAL FIRE, all mainly um, ever since 1980 here in Ukiah. Uh, I've worked uh, dispatch for a while. Uh, I've been married for 37 years. And as I said, I'm not a politician, but uh, I'm sure willing to learn. I have some ideas. Um, unlike, um, well, let's see, uh, quite like Mr. Wetzel, I think I happen to share quite a few of his ideas. Uh, why am I interested in the city council? These are trying times for all of us. I think um, we all need to um, reevaluate what we're doing. And again, I appreciate everything you guys have been doing and I admire that. Um, we need to, we, and I'm not saying nothing bad against the council at all. It's, I, I, I feel as a citizen of Ukiah, we need to make sure that we, that we take care of all of our employees, all of our uh, constituents in the city and the residents. I'm very pro public safety. I think we need to do whatever we need, whatever we can to can do 